Hello, odd people. We need to talk about this channel and, uh, and the purpose of it. As I said in the past, the reason why um, uh, I started the channel is because my friends suggested to make it. I wasn't in a place to even think about it. They actually suggested this uh, some uh, two years ago more than two years ago and then i refused and then they asked me again and they, and then it was just only uh, what back in uh, september when i said okay you know I, I, uh, I and i'm not saying this because i you know uh, I'm, I'm i'm giving you guys favor or giving myself no 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 i'm just saying this is the truth this is what it is uh, i'm not a, a social media guy i never had facebook or instagram or uh, even twitter i think i had account never used it i'm not in in this world uh, of uh, social media i'm i'm just by myself do my stuff and that's it that's the end of it um but then when when i started the channel i really wanted to keep it um clean clean because of of uh, nonsense it's really important to do that um because i did find and that was one of the reasons that um, uh, there is really no clean platform or fair platform, let's say, that um, you feel comfortable uh, sharing information and uh, and uh, and learning from each other. There is no. I mean, I re the the most uh, platform that I used was um, uh, Yahoo Finance. And, and in there, I could see over the years, gradually, this thing was uh, overtaken by shorts. And shorts, they can take it because they have an agenda. <laughs> Investors don't think that way. Investors don't think that, hey, you know, let's take over this board. They don't think that way. Shorts do because shorts are in this dirty game things. Shorts are in the... Uh, business of spreading false information, uh, fear, uh, uh, lies, uh, you know, twisty stuff, you know, that, um, that you, would, uh, you wouldn't believe it. You would believe me. You wouldn't believe it. They come in all kinds of uh, forms and shapes and uh, whatever. They, they, that's my experience anyways. So this channel... Um, you know, uh, is designed to have uh, a place, a safe place, a safe haven for for guys who really want genuine information. Uh, we are uh, uh, new bulls, mainly new bulls, but we do have I do have videos on other stocks. Uh, for the for the time being, it's uh, it's mostly about Neo because Neo is the darling, as far as I'm concerned, in the EV uh, industry. Uh, one thing you can uh, see is that if you even check um, Yahoo Finance, for example, uh, Neo is only second to Tesla in the in the amount of uh, communication, like social interaction. It's only second to Tesla. Neo is larger than in the Yahoo Finance, larger than Xpeng, Lucid, uh, uh, Rivian, uh, Li Auto, uh, all of them put together, and you multiply that by two. That's how big Neo is, and it's it's amazing. Even though Neo's uh, market cap is less than Rivian and less than uh, Li Auto, uh, it's amazing that uh, it is it has such um, uh, you know attraction. And the reason for the attraction is because of the model. Neo has this model, and because of also. Uh, uh, attack or 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 attention from uh, from uh, shorts shorts actually if you look in there today you would find that shorts control the board and and you cannot have a fair discussion you cannot have fair discussion so it is important for this channel to stay focused on on the fact that we are not here to entertain shorts we're not here Shorts will play games and they will take you places and then uh, you ask them questions and they will answer a different way. I had experience with shorts. I have lots and lots and lots of experience, years of experience with them. There's no use. So the point is that uh, we are new bulls. 
and let shorts be shorts, fine. Fine, we have no business with them. And they, this place is not for them. This place, this odd investor place is not for shorts. And they, you can see them, okay? So that's, that's for that. Um, the other thing is that, uh, oh, before I forget, uh, some people thought that, okay, well, in the past, uh, I used to say shorts is our only problem. And now uh, Tesla. So what's next or something? That's a short guy. That's a short guy. Whoever wrote that comment, that's a short guy. See, the thing is, we as a group, we need to stick together and follow the videos. You know, you cannot make a judgment when you don't watch the full video or when you don't watch, when I tell you watch the other video and you don't watch the other video. And, you, and I'll tell you, I'll explain the situation so maybe it's clear for all of us. Um, in the video just before uh, Tesla's earnings, uh, I said that uh, one of the catalysts is the forecast for Tesla. The forecast built for Tesla because it defines the whole year for Tesla. But then, um, and I don't think, I think Tesla will have trouble this year because of the fact that they don't have any catalyst for, for, for this year, right? And, and the fact that they've been dropping prices for over a year since late 2022. So I know uh, that, um, that uh, uh, Tesla will have uh, problems and that the forecast will, will not be so great. Uh, and then sure enough, that's what happened. But then Tesla did not uh, report the forecast. And, uh, and I said that, uh, that uh, the media will take it and spin it into an EV demand issue. And this is the key, EV demand issue. And that is the false. And I said it. I even said false. So I even, I know them so much that I was able to read the, what they would even say in the media ahead of time. Check that video. It's very important. That video is really important. Okay? They changed Tesla's earnings into an EV, um, you know, uh, overall EV industry problem, demand. Everybody talks about demand, EV demand, and that is not the case at all. That is the false information. That is the false information that we have to be careful of. And so uh, the problem with Tesla, with Tesla is that Tesla fell in the traps of Wall Street looking for the bottom line and the sidelines and all the junky lines and start making profits and start uh, focusing more on profits than R&D and fell in the traps of this while other companies uh, focused more on R&D and they caught up with Tesla and they are way ahead of that, way ahead of Tesla. And so Tesla was actually a victim of Wall Street's push. You have somebody or some guys in Wall Street who care less about innovation they do not understand the EV revolution, but they are the ones who dictate how Tesla should do and what the number should be. And they force Tesla. And that actually, this forcing uh, uh, push uh, on Tesla to have these deliveries and meet these deliveries or whatever was one of the reasons why Tesla uh, started the price war. That was their only way to, to, to do it and to even have meaningful market share. So because of Tesla's fault in falling in the trap, it caused Wall Street to make this EV demand issue now. Now they have a story. Uh, Shorts will take anything and spin it into a negative thing for NEO, specifically for NEO, because NEO is the darling. If, it's, if, we, if some people say, well, all the Chinese uh, stocks, um, you know, that's actually wrong. You need yesterday... Uh, uh, Baba and Beidou and JD and uh, Wazwazu, everybody, you know, was green, but uh, not the EVs. No, not the EVs, because EVs were playing sympathy for uh, some news about uh, Tesla. EVs playing sympathy. It's difficult to have a small EV company do well when the leader is not doing well. See, it's, it's important to understand the whole picture. So my 
thing when I say blame it on Tesla, Tesla uh, fell victim test of, of, of Wall Street and created this uh, uh, fake, uh, well, it created issue for itself. It's a real issue for Tesla. But Schwartz took it and sp spun it into uh, an issue for the entire EV uh, market. And that is where this false information is. So it goes back to Schwartz. It goes back to shorts. The ones who spin it are shorts. So our problem is shorts because they spin everything in a negative way. They spin everything in a negative way. Actually, one of the uh, comments I read was that uh, the end of the month, the end of January, New was delivering only uh, 50 vehicles a day. That's it. Just do the math. Do the math. Big, long comment. Do the math. You know, insurance numbers were 9,900 and the delivery was this. So if you, if you do the math, it comes to 50 vehicles a day. And uh, uh, if that's the case, 50 vehicles a day, then we should have seen today in the insurance numbers uh, 350. You multiply 50 by 7, you should get 350 vehicles a day. You see, it only took a few days to prove that's wrong, but... In the meantime, Shorts can have a feast in uh, spreading this kind of news that, hey, the insurance numbers were good and whatever. And the problem with this is you cannot mix insurance numbers with official numbers from uh, NEO. And that's why I always say you have to wait for news monthly numbers. You news month. But there is a gap there for Shorts to... Uh, spread their uh, false information, really false information, and they know they're doing that. They know. They're clever. They're clever, I must admit. They're really clever. So, anyways, the bottom line is this board is for neo bulls, and we all odd people. And anyone who is not a neo bull, we are not here to entertain shorts because there's no point. I had discussions with them. For years there's no point so uh, I want to make sure the, the board stays clean I want to make sure we uh, share information that is valuable to all of us and I want I don't want to have a place where I help shores uh, you know have a hub of spreading more of these twisty and uh, false information I don't want to create another uh, you know, uh, a place for them. Okay, so this is where it is. It's never financial advice. And thank you. Good luck. Bye bye.